I'm with Bjorn of Stilvol, the manufacturers of a desk that I showed last year, and it was at the time the very first video I've ever taken, and all of the comments said, so let's see the desk. All we're seeing Bjorn, he's good looking, but the desk already. So I'm back at uh, I, uh, ICFF this year, and I'm going to give the show over to Bjorn, and he's going to demonstrate the desk. Thank you, Bjorn. This, this um, desk has, multi, um, has many, many functions. You can adjust the height from 52 inches down to 20 inches um, by taking out these individual modules. So each of those legs, each of those blocks, there's like a pin going through the whole thing? A rod? No, not really. Um, it's a patented system. Um, it's nothing else than aluminum parts which asymmetrically fix themselves. Um, it's the gravitational force actually um, right. which holds um, the, the legs together. I see. But it's very easy to use. Um, with one hand you can lift the tabletop. Right. Um, it's very comfortable to ride in an incline position. It's very comfortable for your neck. Um, but also, um, if you would like to use a notebook, notebooks normally can't tilt. Right. Um, but if you use the tilted tabletop, you have to function this way. With both hands, you have to lower it. With one hand, it doesn't work. The ah. idea is not to hurt yourself, so you always have to use both hands to lower it. If you have the tabletop tilted, um, things will slip down. Right. Um, so if you just take out the pencil stop, you just push from underneath. Right. And turn it around 180 degrees. It will pull up. So things will not fall down. And if you lower it again, it will disturb you. You just turn it around again. And it's smooth. In the inside, you have space for sheets of paper and pencils. Um, the trays you individually can take out, which is very comfortable as well. And underneath there is a cable duct for further storage. Right. If you would like to install a workstation, for example, you can put the cables in there. But um, there are many, many functions. It not only can be a workstation or a consulting table or a reception desk for the restaurant, it also can be a kitchen standing table. So you can put the utensils in there or the cookbook can be placed in. Now, in the computer age, are you finding people with notebook computers and uh, using the desk comfortably? Obviously, they're not going to put it up on the tilt, or do they occasionally? They actually, they actually do. Um, if you have, if it's used, for example, as a consulting table in a store, right? Um, you would have a um, computer, a monitor, for example, or um, a notebook, and um, many times, actually, it is tilted. Huh? Um, you will see it's really comfortable. Um, to work an inclined position. If you have um, a bigger computer, um, then you can place the monitor right. here on the back. You have enough space, the depth is very large, um, so you have enough room to push the keyboard, for example, right. to the back and you can work here comfortably. If you use a computer, um, you can place the mouse on the left hand side or right hand side, depending if you're left handed or right handed, even if you are using the inclination. Right. Um, another thing which might be interesting um, is the, the symmetry of the desk. Um, it's one secret um, of the design. When you lower it, um, the distance of the legs are getting smaller and smaller. Right. And the effect is that the design changes. So momentarily you see the standing desk. Lower, it will be a secretary. And if you see the secretary beside the standing desk, you wouldn't associate these pieces. Um, because the design actually is different but it's the same piece of furniture. That's great, thank you very much. I think this time people will actually get a good view of how it works. Oh, one like more, one, okay. One little secret here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's so many secrets I probably can talk right. for an hour. Um, but um, these individual modules, which you can take out, um, are numbered. You see the number here? Right. If you follow the alignment and the numbers of each leg, you can get the grain right again. If you look here... The oh, the grain, of course. You don't want to mix them all up. You want the continuous wood grain. Right, you can mix them up. It will work. Right. But then it will look differently, of course. Okay, thank you very much.